Multicellular life begins with fertilization. Then cells divide and start to differentiate into tissues and organs. Finally, a fully formed animal emerges. This way, every animal starts out as a single cell. But what does it take for development of such complex organisms? The key is regulation of gene expression. And one particularly important class of genetic regulators are microRNAs, which function by repressing target messenger RNAs. A mature microRNA is produced from a precursor hairpin that is cleaved by the microprocessor. Without the microprocessor, no microRNA is produced and animals fail to develop. In C. elegans, there are about 150 microRNAs. We removed all of them by getting rid of the microprocessor. Without microRNAs, embryos manage to complete gastrulation, but then arrest without forming any organs. Game over. So which microRNAs are responsible for this phenotype? To find out, we bypassed the microprocessor using the spliceosome and added back just 2 out of 150 microRNAs. And we show that in the presence of only MIR35 and MIR51, embryos successfully develop and make it up to hatching. So two microRNAs, MIR35 and MIR51, are sufficient to establish the basic body architecture of a nematode. Hi, I'm Philip. And I'm Luisa. We hope this video caught your interest and that you're keen to learn about the experiments behind our findings. We also hope we sparked your curiosity regarding the function of MIR35 and MIR51 in early embryonic development of the worm. But we also don't want to leave you with the impression that all other micronase are not important. We think that most other micronase actually play super interesting roles, but towards the end of embryogenesis. In fact, we and others have found that several micronase are necessary for the correct function of many specialized cell types. And so they are also very important for the formation of a successful multicellular organism. So thanks for tuning in. And if you're interested, please check out the paper. Bye bye.